Russian security officer Igor Strelkov, serving a sentence in a Russian prison, wrote a letter regarding the Ukrainian armed forces offensive in the Kursk region. He predicts Russia's defeat in the war. According to Strelkov, the Ukrainian armed forces not only stretched out Russian forces with their Kursk operation, but also demonstrated to the entire world and, above all, to Russians, the impotence of the Putin regime. He also suspects that Ukraine may be preparing another attack on another part of the front. I continue to expect a possible offensive by the Ukrainian armed forces in the Crimean or lower Dnieper direction in September, no later than mid-October, Strelkov wrote. He stressed that the current tactics of the Russian Federation in the war, which consist of missile attacks on energy and frontal attacks on Ukrainian villages, will not lead Russia to victory. According to Strelkov, this will only exhaust Russia. This word hangs over our military campaign more and more, more and more clearly and more and more threateningly, no matter how hard our official propaganda tries, the Czechist stated. It should be noted that Strelkov is an accomplice of the Kremlin in the war against Ukraine. He helped Putin's regime to start aggression by participating in the occupation of Crimea and Donbass. The International Criminal Court sentenced him to life in prison for shooting down a Malaysia Airlines passenger plane. Strelkov is currently in a Russian prison, not for the plane, but for his brazen criticism of Russian dictator Vladimir Putin. He was sentenced to four years in prison. Recently, Russian mercenary Yevgeny Skripnik who in 2014 fueled the war in Donbass together with Igor Strelkov, has become despondent. He complained about the huge losses of the Russian army in Ukraine and called for the resignation of Vladimir Putin. The mercenary noted that the current situation at the front is very different from what it was in 2014. The Russian army is currently suffering colossal losses and at the same time has no chance of winning. Skripnik called for the immediate resignation of Russian President Vladimir Putin and the entire leadership of the country for the lost war. Against the backdrop of the Ukrainian armed forces offensive in the Kursk region, Russian propagandists have become bolder. They complain about the weakness of the Russian army and the protracted war. Thus, a fit of truth happened to a guest of the Russian propaganda talk show Meeting Place on the NTV channel. Frequent guest of Russian TV, political scientist Andrei Fedorov, who previously held the post of Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of Russia, called Russia's position in the war against Ukraine a disgrace. Ukrainian troops have been in the Kursk region for 21 days. I think it's a disgrace. I just remember that in 84 days, there will be 1,000 days of war. This is also a disgrace, he said. The presenter became very upset by Fedorov's frank statement and tried to devalue his words. You are counting how long our SVO has been going on. You are our full-time accountant, the propagandist said mockingly. Earlier reported that Russian Z war correspondent Romanov advised Russians not to expect the Ukrainian armed forces to leave the Kursk region soon. He is confident that Ukrainian forces have consolidated their positions there until the end of the war. According to him, the Ukrainian armed forces continue to use maneuvering tactics during their offensive in the Kursk region, which allows them to reliably hold territory without major losses, and the Russian army can do nothing about it. From what I saw on the ground, I came to the conclusion that we will not smoke out the enemy from the Kursk region by the end of the war. We simply will not smoke out. This mess in the Kursk region will remain with us until the end of the war. The enemy avoids direct clashes. In certain populated areas he resists, but mostly he avoids. And if they start to press him, he, bam, and jumps back into the forest. And in the forest, you will hardly find him. They, Ukrainian forces, are scattered. It is a very difficult undertaking to catch them there. And if you go deep with infantry, you can run into mines. There is resistance. You can lose a lot of forces, the propagandist said.